CTN, creating a world with decent conversations. Conversations.
El shanto of days will never change. King of glory will never change. Mighty man of oil will never change. You are the Lord. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of Lord. There is no other God like you. You are awesome. You are marvelous. You are so kind. Lord, we give you the praise. Ever faithful God. We worship you. We worship you. Yeah, we worship you. We worship you. Mighty man of all, we give you the glory. Mighty man of all, we give you the glory. Mighty man of all, we give you the glory. Yeah, we give you the glory. Awesome God, we give you the glory. We give you the glory. Yeah, we give you the glory. Mighty God, we give you the glory. Rabo Shanda Rabayaka. Rabo Shakarabayaka. Rabo Shanda Rabosa. Riva Shanda
Presidents come and they go. Kings come and they go. Princes come and they go. But you, O oh Lord, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you are reign is forever. <laughs> you are reign is forever. You were never elected. You were never appointed. You were never elected. You were never appointed. When kings are appointed and presidents, Lord, though they reign for just a time, but you, Lord, you are not like them. You reign forever. Your throne is established forever and ever. Greater are you, O oh God, and worthy to be praised. Great are you, Kadosh, and worthy to be glorified. Great are you, Almighty One of Israel. You will rise on the cloud to come and help us. You are God of the Shuru. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. 
We give you glory, Lord, in this place, oh God. It's all about you, Kadosh, tonight. It's all about you, ancient of days. Blessed be your holy name. Exalted be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Exalted be your holy name. We worship you, Lord, in this place. You are mighty in this place. Jesus, you can do better in the name of Jesus. He is God who is never elected. He is Kadosh who is never appointed. His name is Jehovah Kadosh. He reigns in power, he reigns in glory. It doesn't matter what is happening in your life. He is seated on the throne. Come and suffer in the name of Jesus. Did you come for the service to worship? Are you here to worship Kadosh? Put your hands together. I wish you can celebrate, celebrate Kadosh in the house. He reigns in power, he reigns in glory, he reigns in excellence. Somebody celebrate him, celebrate him better, 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 better. Hey. Woo. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor this far. Look at your neighbor and tell them, my neighbor, my neighbor. My neighbor. This far, were it not for the Lord who reigns forever, I would not have come. But because he's mightly seated on his throne, here I am to worship him. Here I am to give him glory. Here I am to give him praise. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, tell your neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor, when you see me, I'm a testimony of the masses of God. Look for another neighbor and tell them, my neighbor, my neighbor, when you see me, I am a testimony of the grace of God. Look for another neighbor and harass them and tell them, my neighbor, my neighbor, look at me. When you look at me, you see the goodness of the Lord. Ay, 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 ay. Look for another neighbor. Ah, Zakata. Look for another neighbor and tell them, my neighbor, my neighbor, when you look at me, you see the goodness of the Lord. You see the kindness of the Lord. You see the blessing of the Lord. I am a testimony of the hands of the Lord. I am a testimony of the sacrifice of the cross of Calvary. I am a testimony of the grace of God. Do I have believers in the house? Do I have disciples in the house? Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate him in Jesus. Hey. This woman you see here is a testimony that is God in heaven. Tell your neighbor, I am a testimony that God is seated on his throne. Tell your neighbor, seasons have come and gone. But he has remained faithful in my life. Look for another neighbor and tell them, my neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor. Seasons have come and gone by Jehovah. 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 The mighty one of Israel. Abba, my father. He has never gone. You are joking. Can you celebrate him better? Can you celebrate him better? Hey! Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah. I am excited because I know seasons will come and go. But him, he who started a good work in me, he remains forever. I don't know about you. Seasons may be seasons of high waters. They may be seasons of fire. But one thing I know, even in the high waters, he remains to be the king over the flood. He will carry me over to the other side. Ah! Hallelujah. Though I go through the valley, he is God in the valley. When I go through the mountain top, he is God in the mountain. Wah, shakata. He tells me in his water, weeping may remain for a night, but joy comes in the morning. My season is changing. Tell your neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor. Season is changing. My neighbor, my neighbor. My season is changing. Welcome tonight to a time where God is teaching us about seasons. Tell your neighbor tonight, my neighbor, you'll understand the season you are in and the season you are entering. But tell them, my neighbor, my neighbor, one thing I don't want you to forget. Hakuna season permanent. Hakuna. Hakuna. Haku. Hakuna season permanent. Ambia jirani yako hakuna season permanent. I may be low today. But the Bible says he lifts up the poor. And causes them to sit with. Are you a king? Turn around and say my season is changing. Your pocket may be crying, no money, no money. But the Bible says he's the owner of silver and gold. Turn around and say, my season is changing. You may be sick, but his word is saying, by the stripes and the wounds of Jesus. And he says in his word, what excites me more is that as long as I serve him, he has promised me in his word, he is going to bless my food, he's going to bless my water and my bread. So one thing I know, bread and water I'll never miss in my house. Otherwise, that are blessed, Nini. Bread and water, as long as you serve him, you'll never miss. There has to be a table. There has to be a house. Are you excited? Hallelujah. Somebody say a powerful amen. Somebody say a powerful amen. You may be barren today, but there is a God in heaven who says in his word that the barren women, let them sing aloud. Because they are going to be mothers of many nations. If you believe it, turn around and say fire. Somebody say a powerful amen. Somebody say a powerful amen. Jump and say my season is changing. Somebody say, my season is changing. Consolata, you can jump better. Somebody say, my season is changing. In whose name? You may be a tenant now, but according to the program of God, hallelujah, he said, I'll give you houses you never built. I may not be having a car, but there is God of Philip who transport people by the wind. You are not understanding. Somebody say a powerful amen. But that's what if you were. I'm here to no season is permanent. Angalio jirani mungina mwambia, no season is permanent. Angalio wako nyuma na mwambia, my neighbor, my neighbor. Are you hearing very well? No season is permanent. Look at them and tell them, only God, tell them only God is permanent. In whose name? This is our night of understanding times and seasons. Time says, tell your neighbor tonight, let your ears be opened so that you may understand the season you are in and the season you are entering. Tell them if only you understand we will stop murmuring. 
complaining and having sleepless nights. Because, anyway, let's, let's go slowly. Give me the word of God in, uh, in uh, Job 32, 8. So the topic is understanding times and seasons. But you are going to pray first. Give me Job 32, 8. Hallelujah, Dan, keep the music coming. Job 32, 8. And, uh, good. One, two, go. Powerfully praise and worship me. Read the word of God. Come back to the microphones. So one, two, go. But it is the spirit in a man. Uh -huh. The breath of the Almighty that gives him understanding. So I want you to understand that tonight is a night of understanding. Amen. Can I hear powerful amen? amen? Tonight is a night of what? And you can, we are not talking about your primary school teacher. We are not talking about your tutor. We are not talking about the, uh, the deans. We are talking about the Holy Spirit of God giving you understanding about your seasons and times. So we are in the class of the Holy Spirit tonight. Can I hear a powerful amen? Yeah. Somebody say, I'm in the class of the Holy Spirit tonight. So lift up your two hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name. By your spirit, O oh God, By your spirit, oh give, me God. Understanding give me understanding of my seasons and times. Oh, my seasons and oh, God. oh God, by your spirit of grace, by your spirit, of grace. By your spirit oh God, By your spirit, oh give, God. Me give me understanding of my times and, and seasons. Oh, now and lift seasons. up your hands and begin to petition heaven. Lift up your hands. That is a very personal uh, prayer point. In the name of Jesus, you have been asking God, uh, what is happening? Uh, who am I? Me, uh, where this dryness? Uh, where this wilderness? Uh, I want you to lift up your hands. Uh, and I want you to tell God, uh, you are what tells me. Uh, in Job 32, 8, uh, the Lord is by your spirit. Uh, that you give a man understanding. Uh, here I am tonight, Lord. Uh, in your presence, my God. Uh, and this is my prayer. Uh, and this is my petition. Uh, give me understanding. Uh, all my times and seasons. Uh, give me understanding, Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, as you gave the sense of Isaac, uh, understanding of times and seasons, uh, I pray tonight, uh, give me Jeremiah 8, 7, Raka Zaka Talabajanta, Raka Zeka Talamazida, give me understanding, Lord, uh, lift up your two hands, uh, give the Bakarabajanta, Jeremiah 8, 7, uh, Jeremiah 8, 7, uh, Jeremiah 8, 7, uh, lift up your hands and tell the Lord, uh, give me understanding, I pray, give Understanding, I pray in the name of Jesus. Rabba Gentala Mazeketa, Razaka Chalaba Janta, Reka Zeketala Mazuta, Rabba Boshaka Chalaba, Reka Zeketa, Reka Zeketa. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want us to read the word of God together. One, two, go. And I want you to read so that you can be able to understand it. Don't allow the neighbor to read for you. Mwambia Jiranyakolo na Jisomea. To go. Even when the stock in the sky knows he knows how to say something. Uh -huh. And the job, the sticks on the ground, the time of their uh -huh. But my people do not know the requirements of the Lord. Uh -huh. Another version says, even the birds in the sky, done. Keep the service fast. Even the birds in the sky know the right times to do things. The birds in the sky, they know the right things to do things. The socks, doves, swifts, thrushes know when it is time to migrate. Full stop. But my people do not know what the Lord wants them to do. Are you hearing what the Lord is saying? That the birds he created, they know when it is time to migrate. They know when it is time to fly. But the people that God created after his own image, they don't understand the appointed seasons. They don't understand what they ought to do. But tonight, by the help of the Holy Spirit, we are going to understand what the requirement of the Lord is. Are we together? So we are going to tell the Lord, lift up your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your powerful hands, two hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I am here today. I am here today. Open the ears of my understanding. Open the ears of my understanding. 
to understand my seasons and my times. Let me not miss my visitation. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and tell the Lord, Father, I ask of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, by your grace, oh my Father, any season of my life that I missed because I didn't understand what is required of me, I pray the Lord to restore to me. I pray the Lord to restore to me. Lift up your hand in intercession. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have read the people. God is saying that my people do not understand what is required of them. The people of God don't understand the demands of God. Jesus was weeping over Jerusalem and he was saying, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, if only you understand the time of your visitation. Oh, somebody in the name of Jesus, I wish you can lift up your two hands in petition and tell the Lord, you created times and seasons for me, but because of ignorance, Lord, and because of foolishness, I have missed a lot of seasons and times in my life, but today, Lord, I pray, by your grace and mercy, rest on my seasons and times, rest on my seasons and times, somebody petition the Lord, somebody petition the Lord, somebody petition the Lord, Rakaba Genta Maseketa, Rababo Shaka Talida, Jeremiah 820, Jeremiah 820, Rababo Genta Maseketa, Reka Zeketa Laba. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can we read the word of God together? One, two, go. The harvest is past. Powerfully. The harvest is past. The harvest is past. The summer has ended. And we are not saved. Give me another version. Madakatala bozakata. Riko shakatala mazuda. Give me another version. Give me amplified version. Reka zoka bashanta. Can we read together? The harvest is past. The harvest is past, uh huh. The summer has ended, uh huh. And the gathering of fruit is over. Uh huh. Yet we are not saved. Uh huh. Comes again the voice of the people. Amen. The, Jeremiah is lamenting and saying, as the Bible says, there, there, in Genesis eight twenty two, God says that as long as the earth and the, the the earth remains, that the season of sowing. The, the season of seed time and harvest time will always be there. Are we together? The season of cold and hot will always be there. The season of summer, winter, summer and winter will always be there. The season of day and night will always be there. But this is under the earth. And here we are reading that somebody sowed. Hallelujah. And he was waiting for the time of harvest. Because in every sowing you do, there is a harvest you're expecting. Every season ushers you to another season. I want us to preach together. Are we understanding? So in the season of sowing, you plant and then you wait for the season of harvesting to come. But here the Bible is saying that the season of harvest has come. But lo and behold, you have not harvested anything. The season of harvest has come. But lo and behold, you have not been saved. What does that mean? That your season came, but you missed your visitation. When God came visiting, he was busy and you were found out in the house of God. Jesus was lamenting over Jerusalem and was saying, oh, that you may know your time of visitation. Let me tell you people, God works in our lives through season and times. And the moment you miss your season, the moment you miss your this season, there are seasons that you can restore, but others you really have to cry. I want you to lift up your hands in petition, and I want you to tell the Lord, my God and my Father, any of my seasons I have missed, because of ignorance, I ask you mercy, restore them to me in Jesus' name. Just lift up your two hands. Let me hear you pray. Let me hear you pray. There is no season that God intended to be permanent. How comes 
You have been in that season of wilderness for so long. How comes nothing is changing in your life? Could it be your season time came for change, but you are not aware, you didn't have understanding? Just lift up your hands and cry to the Lord and tell him, Father, in the name of Jesus, restore my seasons, oh God. Restore my seasons, I pray in the name of Jesus. Rakaba Shantala Mazokota. Marada Sheke Chala da 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 da. Marada Zeke Chala Bajanta. Marada Zeke Chala Bada da da da. Marada Zia Mashaka Chala Mazaina. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, tonight I hold on to the horn of the altar. And this is my cry, my petition, my God. In the name that is above every name, that every season of my life, Jehovah, that I miss, oh my God, and that is why I have remained in the same level. I petition you, God of this altar, by your mercy, my Father, restore my season, Jehovah God, restore the seasons of laughter in my life, restore the seasons of abundance in my life, restore the seasons of abundance in my life, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are what tells me, my God, that my Father, as long as the earth remains, see time and harvest time, my God will always be there. Heavenly Father, I have sought, but I have not harvested, my God. Heavenly God, in Jesus' name, the Bible says, Lord, times and seasons are in your hands, Jehovah. You are God who changes times and seasons, my God. I pray tonight, Abba Father, holding on to the horn of the earth, petitioning you, my master, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ, my season of harvest that I missed, would you restore it to me, my God? My season of joy that I missed, would you restore it to me, Jehovah God? Oh, Shaka Chalama Zaikata, you say in your word, my God, that we be merry men for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, my nights have been long, my morning has been long, my crying has been long, but I'm coming to you, Abba Father, the God who changes times and seasons, the Lord who may change my season. Oh, Shakarama Sancha, Rekarababo Shaka Chalamina, Haria Katalama Shanta, somebody lift up your petition. We are a praying church, we are a praying church, we are a praying church, we are a praying church. Arada Zeke Chalimanta, seasons have come and gone. The Lord has spoken to us that this is our month of breakthrough. Have you received your breakthrough? The month is almost over. Would you raise a cry to the Lord, Father, in Jesus' name, in this season of breakthrough, do not allow me, Jehovah, to come out of the month of March, April, without my breath to my God. Oh, God, I cry. Lift up your voice. Oh, somebody who has come for this service, somebody is watching me. God is not a man to lie. Whatever word he speaks, he follows it to fulfill it. In the name of Jesus, have you received the prophecy? Have you received the word from the Lord? Has it been performed? If not, would you just lift a petition and tell the Lord, my God, Oh, Shakata, the Lord is reminding me of the grip of the sat by the pool for that eight years. Year after year, he was missing his season. Oh, somebody, Ayaraba Shakata, Ria Sakata Lamazaina, cry to the Lord and tell the Lord, Father, I'm in the season of breakthrough. Let me not get out without the breakthrough, my Father. Oh, Shakata, somebody pray.
Give me first chronicles. Continue praying. Continue praying. First chronicles 32. Shatala Babo Sakata. Continue praying. Lift up your hands and petition car. First Chronicles 12. In Jesus' name. Can we read the word of God together? One, two, go. Men of Isaka. One, two, go powerfully. Men, Men of Isaka. Praise and worship and we read the word of God. One, two, go. Men of Isaka. Uh -huh. Who understood the times and knew what Israel should do. 200 sheets with all their relatives and under their command. Which version is that? NIV? Uh, give me, give me, give me KJV version. Can we read? And of the children of Issachar. And of the children of Issachar. Uh huh. Which are men uh -huh. that had understanding of the times uh -huh. to know what Israel ought to do. They had understanding. It's okay. That, that is enough. The sons of Isaac, Isaac, the children of Isaac, they had understanding of times and seasons. And they knew what they ought to do in every season and in every time. Can I hear powerful amen? amen? These are not angels. We are talking about sons of, do you know Isaac, who, who was Isaac? Who was Isaac? The sons of Isaac, Isaac was the son of Jacob. Do you understand? So, I want us to believe God tonight. The same, the same understanding he had given the sons of Isaac. That they were able to understand their times and seasons. And they were able to judge rightfully. Do you know one thing? If you do, the chances are, if you don't know what you ought to do in, in a particular situation, chances are you expire. For instance, if you are positioned in a place, a, a place of high ranking, and a challenge arises, if you don't know what you ought to do, chances are you lose your job. Am I speaking to someone? Am I speaking to real people here? Tell your neighbor today it's a class. Because we ought to know what to do in every season. When it's as if you because your lack of not knowing what to do has costed you your jobs. Our lack of knowing, not knowing what to do has caused losses in our businesses. Are we understanding? Us as parents, our lack of not understanding how to, hold te to, to handle teenagers, we have pushed our sons and daughters to drugs. I love the silence. Wives! You are, not, you, are, you are not understanding how to, ha to handle your husband. Has pushed your husband out of the marriage. And the men also. If you are hearing me, shake your head. If you are not hearing me, say amen. God has never left any man helpless. Not at any one time, and that is why, if you read it, it should be that it should it's, it's, it's in the New Testament that the Holy Spirit of God will remind you of what He has taught you. That tells me God is not the problem, is not the issue or the reason why you're in that problem right now. It is because you didn't have an understanding, if only you knew what to do, whatever has happened could not have happened. 
Tell your neighbor, if only you knew what to do. Whatever happened could not have happened. Are we understanding each other? So lay, lay your two hands on your head. And I want you to cry like a wounded lion. And you are going to tell God, Lord, as you enable the sons of Isaac to have the spirit of understanding of seasons and times. Lord, tonight in the name of Jesus, anoint me, Lord. Anoint me with the same understanding. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, my God and my Father, especially if you are a leader, especially if you are a father, are you a mother in the house? Are you a wife in the house? Are you a leader in the house? You you cannot be behaving like everybody else. You need to know what to do when crisis come. You need to know what to do when crisis come. Are you a leader of a people? Whether one people or two people or a hundred people, you need to have the spirit of understanding. You need the anointing of the sons of Isaac. Lift up your two hands on your head and petition the Lord and tell the Lord, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask of you tonight, Lord, Anoint me tonight uh, with the anointing, my God, uh, that is above, uh, that was upon uh, the signs of Isaac, uh, that you are able to discern, uh, that you are able to understand uh, times and seasons, my God, uh, and you are able to understand uh, what to do, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, you better pray that very well. Uh, let me tell you, the money you are looking for is the reward of added value. The money you wake up every day to look for, it is the reward of, our, of added value. You cannot add value unless you understand what you ought to do in your business. You cannot add value in the life of any man unless you understand what you ought to do. Would you lift up your cry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? Oh, somebody. Lord, I am tired. I am tired, my God, of living Jehovah God without understanding. Times and season, Jehovah. I want to be a problem solver. I want to be a solution carrier. My God and my Father, in the name of Jesus, I must bring joy to this generation, my God. And that is why tonight I hold on to the honor of the altar. And I ask you, my Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, give me understanding uh, of times and seasons. Uh, give me understanding uh, of times and seasons. Uh, give me understanding uh, of times and seasons. Uh, spirit of understanding, uh, come upon me mightly uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, you are my teacher. Uh, the Bible says uh, there is a spirit in a man. And the Spirit of God gives him understanding. My God and my Father, I press on tonight for spiritual understanding of times and seasons. I press on tonight in the name of Jesus. I am tired. I are a sign. I am a shant. I am a so Pray, pray, pray. Twenty three to twenty nine. Hey. Woo. In Jesus' name, I love this God. When I saw you, 
I want us to read this. One, two, go. Listen, Listen Don't allow your neighbor voice. to read for you. Read for yourself. Listen and hear my voice. Uh -huh. Pay attention and hear what I say. Uh -huh. Next. When, when a farmer plows for planting, does he plow continually? Does he keep on breaking up and harrowing the soil? Uh -huh. when, when he has leveled the surface, does he not so harrow it and scatter corn with? Does he not plant? Uh -huh. Is this God instructing and teaches him, him the right way? way? Uh -huh. Far away is not fresh to the slave, slave. Nor, nor is, is a cut will go away. Do not summon the word of the Lord. Can we read powerfully? Can you begin again? One, two, go. Far away is not. Uh, let's go listen. One, two, go. Listen and hear my voice. Uh -huh. Pay attention and hear what I say. Next. Powerfully, when, when a farmer, farmer plows for planting, for planting uh -huh. does, does he, he plow, plow continually? Continue? The Bible is asking, Mukurima, aki, aki eka tinga tinga kwa shamba, tinga tinga inakonga uko meka yote? Halo, nuangapi wa melima, mimi ni melima. Haleluya. Ukieka tinga tinga, tinga tinga ika uko meka yo? Wanaeswa sifiwe? Ha, kuchimba, inetwa kuchimba zangari. Kuchimba zangari, we don't chipa zangari everyday. Wanaeswa sifiwe? Higher. Secondly, uh -huh. does, does he keep, keep on breaking up and harrowing the soil? soil? You know, you know, what do you used to call that kajembe with, with the she? You understand? The she. Tell your neighbor the she. But next was if you were. There was an attempt to use the she. Kutoa nini? Zile zinetongwa nini zangari. Tell your neighbor, use the, the she to draw zangari. Hallelujah. But next was if you were. Najua najua watu wengi we hapa wae watu wengi wengi wetu hapa Mungu ametumia trakta kukuplau sasa anatumia dangari anatoa anatumia deshi kutoa ambia jirani yako kubali dangari tolewe Ambia jirani yako kubali dangari tolewe And let's continue when he has labeled the service Are you understanding that this is this is something that is done pattern after pattern Kwa wale wamelima, wale ambayo wajalima, uh, hii ya mwezi elewa. Sabu hii siya maua. Ambia jirani yako hii siya maua ya pot. Atuangi mambo ya maua ya pot. Tuangia mambo ya sha? Shamba. Hallelujah. So, when he has leveled the service, uh -huh. does he not so far away and scatter from me? Do you understand that far away is sold? Umeshika hiyo? But, for the you mean it is? Umeshika hiyo? Lizote ni mbegu. Nazote zina kwa mcha. But the way it is done, it is the? Aha, let's continue. Does he not plant wheat in its fields? Aha. Barley in its plots and spelt in its fields. Aha. Separation. Let's go on. Ambia jirani yako. Iyo separation unaona. Ebu tuudi yapo. Niongeleche mutu wapa. Muambia jirani jirani. My neighbor, my neighbor. We are not the same. When God is planting us, if you are a wheat, you have your own place. If you are a belly, unapando kwa plot. Kama wewe ni felt, unapando kwa field. Na unajua kwa field, aleluya, kuna pita ka simba, kuna pita haina, kuna pita elephant. Let's go to the next one. This God is trusting uh -huh. That is a farmer. God instructs him and teaches him. Today we are in the class of the Holy. Tell Father in the name of Jesus. Teach me and instruct me the right way. In that career you are in, in that business you are in, God is able to teach you. The right way to do it, to do it. Next. Uh -huh. Wakati wakuvuna umefika. Bwanesu wa sifiwe. Karawe is not rushed with a, with a what? With a sledge. Bwanesu wa sifiwe. Uh -huh. Nor is a katwe rolled over. Sababu ikipitish wa juu inaisaga. Tunelewana. Are you getting blessed? Aha. Karawe is beaten out with a rod. Aha. Katawe is beaten up with a rod. Ambia jirani yako. If you are a katawe, if you are a karawe, you will be beaten with a rod. Aha. And cumin with a 
Najua wengi wengine watu watupigagwi sana ka kijiti tu. Lakini wewe kama ni kara wewe kama minister Moses ni rod. In Jesus name tuendelee. Grain must be grounded to make bread. Uh-huh. So one does not go on threshing it forever. Because if you continue threshing it forever na haribika, si ndio? Eh eh. Though he drives the wheels of his threshing cart over it. He sources the sources do not grind it. Uh-huh. next. All this also comes from the Lord Almighty. Wonderful in his counsel and magnificent in wisdom. Do you love that scripture? Do you love that scripture? Do you love that scripture? That is enough to deliver you from business foolishness. It is enough. We have no reason to make losses after today. As Victor's Assembly Church, we have no whether it is farming, whether ni mtumba, wewe ni mwana ni mwalimu, kwa kama ni kupika, hakuna kuunguza chakula kutoka leo. God will teach us all always. Ah, let's have that. Be seated as you hear the word of the Lord tonight. So take your Bible, uh, take your Bibles. Um, I'm going to rush. So the title is uh, Understanding Times and Season. Understanding Times and and I want us to preach together in the name of Jesus Christ. Our online viewers from all the corners of the earth we appreciate you. We honor God for you. Thank you for tuning in tonight. This is Victor's Assembly Church, the house of celebration. And tonight we are learning about understanding times and seasons. I come into your homes. I come to your screen uh, through the blessing of my prophet riding on her grace. Even to teach the people of God in Jesus' mighty name. So tonight we are learning what is. Uh, we are first understand what is to understand. To understand is to know. To understand is to comprehend about something. Follow me cl- closely. You are going somewhere. When we talk about understanding times and season, we break it. To understand is to know. To understand is to comprehend something. Now, we go to season. What is a season? A season is a certain period marked with certain specific occurrences, conditions, or events. I repeat that again. A season is a certain period marked with certain specific occurrences, conditions, or events. What is time? Time is a resource under your control and sufficient to accomplish something. Time is a resource under your control. Sufficient to accomplish something. Give me Ecclesiastes 3.1. Hallelujah. I repeat again for the purpose of them that were not able to write well. When you talk about season, season is a certain period marked with certain specific occurrences. For instance, this is our season of breakthrough. When I was so in every month we enter, it's a new season for us. And for every season, God always gives us a specific word for the particular month to give us direction. So season is a certain period marked with certain specific occurrences, conditions, or events. What is time? Time is a resource under their control, under your control, and sufficient to accomplish something. Now, let us read Ecclesiastes 3, 1. Want to go, all of us? Powerfully, want to go? There is a time. Uh-huh. Give me another version. Yes, good. What are going to capital? Want to go? I want you to read that powerfully. 
to everything there is a and everything is everything that was created by God. Me and you, we fall under everything. Tell your neighbor you fall under everything. But let's just if you will. To everything, there is a uh -huh, and a time for every matter or purpose under heaven. To everything, there is a season. So I want you to understand that everything that is everything that is under the earth, everything that is in the earth under the heaven, there is a season. Are we together? And for every purpose, there is a time attached. What does that tell you? That tells me and do this, that in every purpose God has given a man, there is a specific time to accomplish it. Class, are we together? If you can hear me say, I am here, teacher. So for every purpose, there is a time attached to and purpose is not what you are living for. Purpose is not what you do every day. Let me rephrase that again. Purpose, let me read. Purpose is not what you do for a living. Tell your neighbor, purpose is not what you do for a living. But what you live to do. Tell them again, purpose is not what you do for a living. But what you live to do. Are we understanding each other? Because unfortunately, there are many of us who have never known their purpose. So, when you are in the kazini because you believe kubata mjahara, you have fulfilled your purpose. Tell your neighbor, it is not about the money. It's about fulfilling the very agenda you are created for. For this reason, Jesus said, the Bible says, for this reason, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of. So ask your neighbor, what were you manifested for? Ask your neighbor, well, push, my neighbor, my neighbor. What do you manifest? Why, 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 what were you manifested for? Some come and in statistics, seasons will come and go, and you never fulfill your purpose. But it's what if you But for anybody who understands why they live and their purpose, they, uh, they embrace every season that comes. And can we read? Uh, let's go down. Quickly. Uh -huh. One, two. Give me an IV version. Uh -huh. A time to be born quickly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A time to kill. Uh -huh. I want you to understand. When you are reading that, do you see that time is constant? It's only the seasons are at Are you understanding? Time to be born. Time to to be born is a season. To die is a time to plant is a season. Time to sow is a time to build is a season. Time to, to uproot is a so if you read the whole of that, you won't read it because of time. You will understand that time is constant. But next was if you will. But the seasons are doing what? They are changing. And let me tell you one thing. When I was reading the word of God, it should be book, in the book of Daniel. Let me get this scripture well. I am getting blessed. It should be the book of Daniel where he says in the word of God that uh, he is the one who changes times and seasons. It should, it should be in the book of Daniel. Somebody gave me that scripture. It, uh, when you talk about seasons, you can never, never, ever change a season. So the only thing you can do in a season is to adjust yourself. When it's just if you, you can never do what? Because it's only God who changes what? Seasons. When it's just if you, so yours is to adjust in every particular what? Season. So I want us to, uh, to, uh, to study one thing and I ask you, can a man miss their season? Can a man miss their season? The answer is yes. Number one, why? Covetousness. The reason why a man can miss his season, number one, is covetousness. When you go home, read 2 Kings 5, 25 to 27. There's a story of Gehazi there who missed his season. 
this man of God was serving under Elijah. Elisha, sorry. And I believe with all my heart that if the mantle was to be transferred, this man could have received the double portion of Elijah and Elisha upon his life. Are you understanding? For instance, for me with all humility and I bless God, I serve under the grace and the anointing of my bishop and my reverend. Do you understand? So, this man called Gehazi, as he was serving under Elisha, he was to receive out of his faithfulness the mantle that was handed over to Elisha by Elijah. And that which Elijah had, God had managed to give, God had endowed upon him, could have come upon Gehazi. But one costly mistake of covetousness caused him to miss his season. And a man who was serving a man of God, he opened a door of leprosy in all his generation. He was supposed to be promoted. He received a what? A demotion. And that is a reason, and that is something that happens to all of us in the marketplace. True or false? It happens even in the house of God. It happens. It's all over. How many times have you missed your promotion? Many times. Isn't it true? It is true. And the moment you miss that, 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 that promotion, that season of promotion, you go back and wait for another season. But some of them say, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the seed of covetousness, in the seed of greed in me, that will cause me to miss my visitation, I approve you. Number two reason why a man can miss their, 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 their season, disobedience to God. Disobedience to God and authority. When you go home, go read about Saul, 1 Samuel 15, the whole chapter, 1 Samuel 15, the whole chapter, and you will see that Saul disobeyed God. And after disobeying God, he lost his kingship. And I want you to write this. Every time you disobey God, you close door to the next season. I want you to say, I, I want you to say with me, say with me, every time I disobey God, I close the door to the next season. And when we talk about God, God works with structures. God works with what? With structures. There are, there are people in authority that God has placed over our lives. So anytime you disobey a set rule, you do what? You close your door to the next season. And that is why you'll keep wondering, why is it that in my life there is no promotion coming forth? Why is it in my life that nothing is changing? Look at yourself and see. Is there a seed of disobedience that is in your life? And you know, apparently, and the most funny thing is, grown-ups never know they are disobedient. We always give a reason of where we have done our things. Saul, even after being caught by, by, prophet, by, 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 by prophet Samuel, and asking him, where did you do this thing of going against the law of the Lord? The king was still kujitetea. Mungu amemtuma. God tells Saul what I told him to do, he never did. But the most thing is, the most funny thing is, Samuel alikuwa nasikia mbuzi zikilia. Lakini Saul anajitetea ni kwa nini alifanya hivyo. Ambia jirani yako, ukishikwa na makosa, be a person to repent. Mwene so sifiwe? Any time in a working, and this is wisdom I'm giving you. Even in your working place where you are employed, if, for, if ever, ever you are corrected and you are told this is this thing you have done, don't beat your chest. Because by doing that, you are closing your door. The fact that somebody left the way that you want to live and they got a job, they are not you. But it's as if you they are not, they are not you. So say every seed of disobedience in me 
There is a sign to close my door of next season. You are a liar. I approve you in Jesus' name. There's something I, I have said, I, I, I have told new believers and I've told them several times. Let me tell you, as long as you are walking in disobedience, forget even casting the, head, the demon of headache. Forget it. God does not entrust his power. He doesn't entrust his power and anointing to the disobedience. Because actually, if you are disobedient, you and the devil, you are in the same level. You are in the same camp. Are we together? Aya, sinikoeli. If you are disobedient, you and the devil in the same. So can you cast him out? You cannot. So if you want to see seasons changing in your life, be obedient. Because one thing I have come to understand, there's a time our reverend was teaching us about season. Number one way to be able to know about season is by prayer and by reading the word of God. Number two, it is being sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. It is one thing to hear the Holy Spirit. It's another thing to obey what he's telling you. Aha. Number three, be sensitive to sermons. Don't be coming to church to fill the seat. Every word God speaks, the revelation that it brings to you, it could be opening a new season for you. Every prophetic word that is given is a season that is being announced to you. Ah, can I hear a powerful amen? Even right on, I'm, I'm speaking, there's somebody's season that is being opened. That somebody say that is me. In whose name? And that is why, like for instance, let me, let me labor on the, on the part of disobedience. For instance, now, you know we are supposed to be praying and fasting. Hello? And you know, prayer and fasting does not change God. But if you prepare me and you for the next season, as a church, we pray every first, second, that of, of every what? Of every man. As we usher in a new season. So if you don't pray and fast with us, you have disobeyed, you miss your season. If the Son of God could pray 40 days and nights for him to enter into ministry, tell your neighbor, seasons who in Ugali. You have to labor in the altar of what? Or prayer. Number three. Lazy, uh, uh, laziness. Somebody say laziness. Hallelujah. Proverbs 10.5. The Bible says, He who gathers during summer is wise. I paraphrase. But who sleeps, whoever sleeps in harvest is a son of shame. Proverbs 10.5. Uh, can we read together? He who gathers in summer is? Uh-huh. Let me tell you. When you see the seasons of abundance, prepare for the seasons of scarcity. When you see rain, prepare for the days that are going to be dry. Are we together? Hallelujah, church. So, in the season of abundance, gather. Tell your neighbor, in the season of abundance, gather. In the season of abundance, do not sleep. In the season of rain, go to your field and sow. Do not sleep. Because a wise son understands the season that is supposed to be gathering, he doesn't slumber. But the problem with us is we want to pray 24 hours then we sleep and we wait we await the angel of the Lord to bring us manna from heaven in the morning. And I don't dispute, I don't disagree. God is able to provide manna supernaturally. Somebody say amen. Lakini, at our total Israeli, there was what they were doing. They were on the move. It was a season they were in. And something very interesting I read about them. That the cloud used to stop 
at the tent. And when it moves, they move. And something very interesting I learned was they used to move at the command of the Lord. If the cloud stops, they stop. When the cloud moves, they move. I, I bet, we better read that one. Hallelujah. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, because it really blessed me. Give numbers, give me numbers nine. nine. Numbers nine. Numbers nine, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody say the cloud is moving. Give me from verse 17 to 23. Hi, amen. I uh -huh. want to go quickly. Uh -huh. The Israelites set out. Uh -huh. Wherever the cloud settled, the Israelites encamped. Uh -huh. They understood the season. Tell your neighbor, there's a season to move and there's a season to encamp. Uh -huh. Continue. At the Lord's command, the Israelites set out. And at the command, they camped. As long as the cloud stayed over the tabernacle, they remained in their camp. Continue. A long time, uh -huh, the seas rise. When the cloud remained in the or they remained on the tabernacle for a long time, the seas rise did what? They obeyed and they uh -huh, continue. Sometimes the cloud was over the tabernacle only for a few. Tell your neighbor there is a season of few days. Uh huh. And then at the Lord's command, they would encamp, and then. At his command, they would set out. Let's go on. Sometimes the cloud stayed only for an evening till morning. Tell your neighbor, there is a season of evening till morning. Uh-huh. Whether by day or by night, whenever the cloud lifted, they set out. Continue. Whether the cloud stayed over the tabernacle for two days or a month, Tell your neighbor, there are seasons that will be two days. Another season will be two months. Another season will be one whole year. Hello? There's a season of morning to evening. There's a season of one. There's a season of two. There's a season of one. There's a season of a whole year. And there's a season of 40 years. Hello. Yes, 40 season. Uh -huh. Remain in the camp and set out. By the, uh -huh. Let's go to the next, the next verse. At the Lord's command, they encamped. And at the Lord's command, they set out. Uh -huh. They obeyed. Drew his servant. So, this is what I was talking about hearing instruction. Because in every season, when God is breaking the camp for you, when God is shifting you to another season, he, he, he reveals it to his servant, the prophets. Your amen is looking for trouble. Cloud is visible. True or false? When the cloud is moving, we all see. But you know, the Israelites were not supposed to go unless Moses commanded them. You are seeing a cloud. That is not a reason enough for you to move. Seeing a cloud, it is not enough for you to move. Wait for the prophetic word. You move forward. Wait for the voice of the Holy Spirit to move forward. The reason is we want to manifest before our time. You want to get married before your time. You want to start ministry before your time. Yes, the cloud is there. But the question is, have you had the command of Moses to move? You can see the signs. You can see the cloud over your business. You can see the cloud over your ministry. 
You can see the cloud over your gifts. Yes, you are gifted. The cloud is there. But have you heard the voice of Moses? Ask your neighbor, I tell, I tell your neighbor, wait for the command of Moses. In every season, wait for the command of If you are hearing me, say amen. If you are hearing me, say amen. What to know about seasons very fast. Seasons may, may tie, season may tie you to a new location and a new assignment. What to know about seasons. Seasons may tie you or move you to a new location and a new assignment. This is Abraham reference. How God told Abraham to leave his country and to go to a land that is going to show him. Remember when the brook dried, God told Elijah, move and go to the widow of Seraphath. And again, I come back. It requires obedience. Moving from a place you know to a place you don't know. It requires what? Obedience. But as long as you have heard the, of the command of Moses, as long as you have heard the instructions of the Holy Spirit, it is time to move. Are we together? Number two, I want you to understand that every season, seasons may be prolonged as we have read. Seasons may be what? Seasons may be prolonged. There are seasons that are from morning to evening. There are seasons that are one day. There are seasons that are one year, one month. Seasons may be prolong prolonged. And most of the reasons why seasons are prolonged is because of disobedience. The Israelites were supposed and meant to be in the wilderness only for 40 days. But they ended being there for 40 years. So I'm speaking to someone here. Your season has prolonged beyond. What you need to do is to go back to the Lord. And tell the Lord, where I have disobeyed you, Lord, I ask you by your mercy, restore me to a new season. Can I hear a powerful amen? When you miss a season, it affects the manifestation of the next season. When you miss a season, it affects the manifestation of the next. For instance, uki miss kupana mahindi, how tavuna sindio. Kwa hivyo wengine wakiuza mahindi, hau chokuwa na mahindi ya kuuza, ita kubidi ya tawe ununue. Uko na shamba, yes. Lakini sababu hau kupanda mahindi, you miss that visitation. So when you miss a visitation, it is going to affect the manifestation of the next season. Are you writing? Number four. Seasons can be manipulated through the sun, the moon, and the stars. By powers of darkness. Seasons can be manipulated through the sun, the moon, and the stars. And no wonder the Bible says in the word of God, should be in Psalms 121. Or one, yeah. The sun shall not meet you by day, nor the moon when you on your night. The Bible says in Genesis 1, 14 to 18, that God created the greater light and the lesser light to govern the day and the night. So never be ignorant about seasons. Because the seasons that God has given us, they are supposed to separate seasons in our lives. So lift up your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, any demonic system manipulating my, my times and seasons, tonight, in the name of Jesus, I command them to expire. When it's was if you So, why do you need to understand your times and seasons? What you are learning about is, can seasons be, can someone miss their, their season? No, the next topic, the last one, understanding, why do we need to understand, to understand time and season? Number one, when you understand your time and season, you enter rest. I'll wait on the Lord until my change. Are we together, church? When you understand the season you are in, you enter what? Rest. Number two, it builds patience. Being in a season for one year, it is going to build patience in your life. Somebody say amen. 
Hallelujah. Understanding also your time and season delivers you from errors and mistakes. It delivers you from errors and what did I say? Understanding your seasons, that's what delivers you from errors and mistakes. So have you learned tonight about times and seasons? So understand very, very well that God governs the earth through times and seasons. So what you need to understand is to understand your season. Which season are you? And the moment you understand that season, and remember this I have said, all seasons will not be laughing, laughing, laughing. Go read Ecclesiastes 3. There are seasons that you'll cry. There are seasons that you'll be forced to, 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 to bring down whatever you have built. But in all these seasons, they are never permanent. But it's as if you were, they are never, they are never permanent. So don't stay there. When the cloud is moving, move. Or to know what you need to do in every what? In every season. But it's as if you were. Hallelujah. Can I hear a powerful amen? So let us be upstanding as we close, as we lift up our hands before God. As we tell him in the name of Jesus, Father, give me insight. Give me insight for this season in my life. Just lift up your hands and say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive insight for this season in my life. Powerfully, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive insight for this season of my life. Say that again, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive insight. For this season of my life. Lift up your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive understanding of this season. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive clarity for this season. In whose name? So in every season, something that is very fundamental is Build your capacity. But that's what if you especially in good seasons, build your capacity. Number two, build good relationships. Uh-huh. During good season, build your capacity by gaining knowledge. But that's what if you by gaining what? By praying. By reading the word of God and exposing yourself to knowledge. Number one. Number two. During good season, invest in relationships in a godly way. Invest in godly. As Kikuyu says, people deal, people is money. People is and God uses people to bless. So in your good time, invest in people. Invest in a church. Hallelujah. So that in the day of trouble, you'll come here and turn to the wall and tell the Lord, Father, remember. But whoever in good times, Nihawi, Singapore, Alafsa unakuja, kiki umana, unakuja hafa 24 hours prayer. Yee, yee. You have nothing to remind God, no? In the days of your good season, invest in the house of God. So that when night will come, you will come to that wall there. And call God of my bishop, remember what I've done in your house with my money. Are we understanding each other? So lift up your hands and say, Holy Spirit of the living God, help me to build my capacity in prayer and reading of the word. So pray that prayer for one minute in the name of Jesus. As we close in the name of Jesus Christ. As we pray tonight in the name of Jesus, you came for this service, you are not born again. 
you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to invite you to receive Jesus. You are here in this service, you are not born again. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands, I will lead you to the Lord. You came for this service, you are not born again, and you are saying, Minister Al, Pastor Alice, I do want to give my life to Christ. Just lift up your hand wherever you are, I will lead you to the Lord. If you are born again, let your hand be down. But if you want to give your life to Christ, just lift up your hand high. Just lift up your hand in the name of Jesus. So we are all born again. Jesus is Lord. Somebody say a powerful amen. Let us be seated as you prepare to give. So as I've told you, remember this. When we talk about season, in the time of good season, invest in the house of God. Invest in people. Invest in the house of God. Even as you make, as, as you build up good relationships, invest in the house of God. So that in the day of your trouble, the God of the house you have invested in shall remember you in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say a powerful amen. A thunderous amen. It is time to give. It is time to invest in the house of God. Hallelujah. I love this God. I love the God of this altar. He's a faithful God. In and out of season, he remains to be God. Somebody say amen. I'm looking for my offering. I, I must be a partaker of a, new, of a new season. With our offerings, we are going to ask God. I don't know which season you've been, but I want to trust God that the God of this altar is God who hears prayers and is going to usher us into a new season in the name of Jesus Christ. Just lift up your offering. The number to give is there on the envelope for our online viewers. The number to give is 0722-712-918. 0722-712918. And God of all grace is going to bless us together. So each one of us tonight, we are welcome to give as they look for my envelope. Oh, my envelope, my envelope, where, where art thou? Hallelujah. You must manifest in Jesus' name. Somebody say a powerful amen. Amen, amen, amen. It must be between this book. So lift it up in the name of Jesus if you are ready. And begin to tell the Father, Father, as I give tonight, I ask you to usher me to a new season in the name of Jesus Christ. Just give me another envelope. I cannot see my envelope and a pen. Somebody help me with the envelope and a pen. In the mighty name of Jesus, just lift it up before God and tell the Lord as you give in Jesus' mighty name, Father, usher me to a new financial season in the name of Jesus. Usher me, oh God, to a new financial season. Speak to your offering in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Speak to your offering and tell the Lord, Father, I thank you because as your word tells me, oh God, the Lord, as long as my Father God, I'm in this earth. Seed time and harvest time will never cease. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I have have sold my God continually on this altar. I have been invested in the lives of people, my God. I pray for my harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to change my season. Somebody command, speak to your offering in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish I can see those hands lifted high. I wish you can speak to it and tell the Lord. In this season of breakthrough, my Father, I ask you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, I shall be my God from lack to, to, to abundance, oh God. Change my season, my Father, I pray. Change my season, my God, I pray. Change my season, I pray, Abba Father. Change my season, I pray, oh God. You are God who changes times and times. You changes seasons and times. I pray the Lord in Jesus' name that you will change my season. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, thank you because of your word. And thank you because you are God who changes times and seasons. And tonight we believe you, O oh God, that every business that is in a night season, Lord, you are changing the season of that business to a day season. For us who have been sowing, O oh God, usher us, O oh my Father, to a season of harvest. And as you do it, O oh God, receive all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we give together, in whose name, and now may the grace and the love of God be with us now. Surely, all the days of our lives, forever and ever. 
and amen. Tell your neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor, my season is changing. As you give, tell them, my neighbor, my neighbor, my season is changing. My neighbor, my neighbor, my season is changing. My neighbor, my neighbor.